Even very healthy people can feel sluggish after taking a combo like NAD with Mod-C and 5-Amino-1-MQ and then eating fruit because this stack triggers a powerful metabolic shift towards fat oxidation and mitochondrial repair while the fruit introduces a sudden glucose load the body isn't primed for. NAD and Mod-C activate AMPK and sirtuin pathways, increasing the mitochondrial turnover and mimicking a fasted energy burning state. Adding quick sugars too soon can cause a temporary blood sugar dip and mild fatigue due to a heightened insulin sensitivity from Mazi and the 5-amino 1-MQ. At the same time, NAD can transiently deplete ATP and electrolytes as it ramps up cellular energy and the parasympathetic rebound after this activation can leave you feeling calm or sleepy. To prevent this, it's best to dose peptides fasted in the morning and wait about 45 to 60 minutes again before eating, allowing those cellular pathways to stabilize before refeeding. Then when you do eat, start with clean proteins and healthy fats to help keep blood sugar stable and support mitochondrial activity. Options like pasture-raised eggs, grass-fed beef, wild-caught salmon, chicken, whey, or collagen with leucine paired with avocado, tallow, grass-fed butter or ghee, macadamia nuts, chia seeds, or omega-3 rich fish really work best. A perfect example would be two eggs cooked in tallow with half an avocado or a protein shake. Then, if you want fruit, wait another 30 to 60 minutes before adding it in for a smoother crash-free energy curve. And always stay hydrated with electrolytes, especially sodium and potassium, to maintain steady energy throughout the day. If you're interested in learning more about how peptides can help you and my free coaching, email me at thepeptideadvantage at gmail.com. Remember to always be your own health advocate and stay healthy.